Hey guys, welcome. I imagine you like laser and you like tape measures, or maybe you like both of them combined. Today's video, we're going to dive into that by this tape measure by Ink Irma, and it's called the Ace Tape. If you want a part number, it's going to be here on the back. And we'll talk about where you can find it, what all it does, what's all inside, and if it's something for you. So let's talk about it. Tape measure, laser distance meter, unit conversion. All great stuff, right? Auto laser shut off, auto power off. 130 foot. When it's talking about 130 foot, it is the laser. So what you see right here out the front, that is where the laser is projected out and the measurement is taken. And it is also a 16 foot tape measure. And of course, this is made in the good old country of China. And here's all of its little certifications. Note too that this has a laser on it, so you must be careful with your eyes, especially with children using these. Uh, so they don't damage their eyes. Let's take a look inside. All right, inside you get a nice little instruction manual, a couple of little scan download things, all these different languages. So here's the packaging it comes in. It's got a nice little foam tray, nothing too spectacular. Right here were the double A's. There's two double A's that it takes, and then here's where the leash was held. I went ahead and put those on here for you. So there's the leash. It is a just rubber bandy kind of silicone leash. I don't know how well that's going to hold up long term. Up to you if you want to add it to it or not. Here's your little window. There's where your laser shot out of. We'll give you a little taste test. There's where your laser comes out. And then that's where it picks up and reads it up from is, is that lower window. And it makes the beeps like that. We'll get into that in just a second. So uh, looking around it, get a nice little clip here. Actually has some positive tension to it. I feel like most Chinese ones pretty, pretty much are terrible at that. Down here is where you're getting access to the batteries. Both of your double A's fit right inside there. Or sorry, both of your triple A's fit right inside there. It mentions here it is a class two laser. And again, it goes over what its uh, specifications are. The company, it's the Ace Tape. And this is its capabilities as far as laser, 130 feet and 16 feet for the tape. Uh, let's take a look at the tape here first. It is automatically locking, so to disengage, just push the button. I kind of prefer, I don't know, I think most of the time I prefer this style. It automatically locks for you. Now, taking a look at the tape, nothing nothing great. It's on the skinnier side, not that thick. But I do like that it gives you dual measurements. So depending on what country you live in and what you, what you like to measure, you have dual measurements there. So it's both SAE on the top and then the metric system on the bottom. 20 centimeters, 30 centimeters. It does a pretty good job with that. Underside, nothing. I actually prefer when they put something on the underside, but I guess that's what it is. It does use three three rivets in there for holding it in place. Not too bad. And nothing too fancy on the tail end here for grabbing on. Okay. So the part that everyone's interested in, it, uh, I would think, is going to be the laser here. So as you press it, you press the button so you guys could focus on that. All right. And then... Then you point it at the direction you want to measure. Once it's pointed there, press the button again. It takes the measurement down here below. And right as we can see here, that's one foot, zero inches, and seven sixteenths. And then when you push it again, it actually stores it up there, and then it moves down to the next one. So we'll take that measurement again. If you could focus. One foot, one inch, and one sixteenth. And, I mean, as far as measurements, let's, let's do it here. You guys can see it here with me. Now, that measurement it's taking, it, you may be asking yourself, well, where's it taking it from? Is it from the front? Is it from the top, the middle, the bottom? It's actually from the back side. So if you're in between, say, two studs or uh, from one wall to the other wall inside your house and you want to get a, a, a measurement, it is from the front to the back. So let's try to get it as flush as we can here real quick. We'll do a little quick measurement from the face of this. And we'll use a standard tape measure to see how accurate that is. All right, that is pretty dang flush. Let you guys see that there. That is, that is flush with, with the end, edge of the table. We'll go ahead and take this measure. Okay. So with this one, it's coming in right about 14 and an eighth of an inch. I'll, I'll lean back here so you guys can see it. 
but 14 and an eighth is what it's coming up at. Let's go ahead, we'll give it a shot here and see what this says. Let's try to hold this as straight as we can. All right, so one foot, two inches, and three sixteenths. So it's actually off by a sixteenth. And um, I'll go ahead, maybe post, I already took some pictures of it, but I already took some measurements inside my house, in my kitchen, and right about it's about 10 feet. The tape measure only goes to 16 feet, so I figured I'd get 10 feet would be a good measurement. And it was off by about a sixteenth to eight. I think I even measured one at three sixteenths of an inch off. Now, the manufacturer, they claim that measurements are within an eighth of an inch. And that's, I mean, that's good, but it's, I mean, if you're a carpenter, and I'm sure a lot of you guys who are watching this video, you like your tape measures, and you know that measurements are key, right? You want to measure multiple times and cut once. If you use this only to measure via its laser, you're going to be inaccurate. You're going to be off by an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths of an inch. And when you're doing, especially any finished work inside of a house, that's not going to work. Now, say you're going to do, I don't know, say you're doing something else. Maybe you want to find out how far, how big a, a space is for your furniture to go in. An eighth of an inch is, isn't going to kill you. Heck, maybe you, you'll, you'll do, do studs an eighth, uh, an eighth of an inch off. It's not going to kill you either. So for quick measurements and, and not so much the finite important measurements, yeah, that's going to do fine for you. But if you want tight tolerances, pull out your tape measure because that's not going to be it. You're, you're going to end up screwing up whatever finish work you're doing because you're not 100% accurate with that measurement. So, um, all in all, I think it's a cool little unit. Where do you find it at? Uh, you actually hop on Amazon is where it's at and pricing for it. These you have a couple sales on it. I'll put a link in the description below so you can get the best price on it. But it's about $29 before most sales. And then right now, at the time of this video, there's actually a sale as well. So I'll link that down for you guys so you can check it out yourself. But uh, yeah, it, what is, how, how does it compare? I mean, we're looking at, it's, it's a lot chunkier, it's heavier, and you get less tape in comparison to say, this uh, this Crescent Lufkin. All right, 25 feet versus 16 in the same kind of shell, honestly. And quality-wise, I mean, definitely better quality out of this. But if you're, you know, if you're a new homeowner or you're on a budget and maybe you want something that does everything in one, this is kind of a Swiss Army knife. It, it's not a bad tool whatsoever. Um, I think you'll do fine, if, especially if you don't need to go over 16 feet in your measurement on precise measurements. But other than that, the laser level is going to take you up to 130 feet. So that's that's pretty decent. So yeah, I think it's I think it's actually a, I hate saying this, but it's actually kind of a neat little little tool if you want something that does two things in one unit, eh, as opposed to getting one of these. But if you're in the, in the trades, yeah, I'd pick this for sure. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. What are your experiences with these laser uh, tape measures? And have you tried this one out, or have you tried other ones? I'd love to hear about it. And uh, yeah, guys, as always, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.